Okay, let's try this again. Take three. First time, I just couldn't fucking talk. Second time, my fucking battery just quits at 60, 50 percent. It's just, I gotta get a new battery for it anyway. Um, it looks like I got the beams pretty level. It's very hard to tell because it is um, 6.15 and it's still light out. I have to get to bed in like three or four hours because I gotta get up early. And from what I could tell, everything's pretty much level. I'm still doing a little bit of tweaking here. Um, but the reference lines that you see um, are the reference lines of the halogens. Now on the right side, it looks like that because um, when I originally put these together, I JB welded them, you know, you know, just to tack them into place and without really get an idea exactly where the beam was and I decided when I fucked that up I was only going to break apart one because the beam on the other one is perfectly level so I just wanted to get an idea um, how far pointed in it was and it looks like it's only pointed in just a little bit so I'm not too worried about that so that's where I stuck the piece of tape right there to try to use that as a reference so I bow or not bow, but um, I can, you know, aim this one in just about, you know, the same amount. I I like it that way because you know my mini H ones uh, pretty much did the same thing, and I was used to it. I like I like having the cutoffs merge in the distance, and I think having them um, point in just a little bit. Um, helps the intensity down the road because you know I want to see far. I don't want to. I I do want to see the field and stuff and on the sides, but more importantly, I I want I want some fucking distance because these high beams are the shit. I mean, I can only activate one because I'm doing it with my finger. Um, so right now I'm just waiting for it to get darker so I can get an idea. You know, get a better perspective of how level these lights are and then while they're on the car I'm just using this uh, needle noser thingy to tighten these nuts just a little bit I can only access those two but tighten them just a little bit because I'm gonna go ahead and just um, tack these with JB weld and just let it sit there I'm not, I'm not even gonna disturb it I'm just gonna let it sit for just a little bit while I do some other stuff here at the other house and and then I just I just I just keep tightening them tightening them and then I check the beam make sure it's all it's not all fucked up and if it is I can just grab onto it and just shift it just a little bit and just compare it make sure everything's all level I mean It's, it's very hard to tell because when I had these on before and I was trying to get everything right and everything's JV Weld and I was kind of upset because I didn't think I was going to get this light apart but you know once I break these screws loose from the JB Weld bond I could pretty much wiggle this and get it out which I did and I was so much happier after that and I was relieved so now I'm, I'm gonna fucking do it right this time so seeing it in the daytime with this much daylight so I'm just gonna shut up now okay so I'm back where I was I did back the car up just a little bit and it gave me a much better perspective of how the rotation was so I'm gonna show you how much better it is now just gotta keep the fucking wheel stay straight you can see it just starts to bow in or point in I'll watch out.
behind me sometimes that we get a little bit of traffic. Of course, as you can see, it's still light out. My windshield is fucking dirty and I can't see shit, so I can only back out so much. About right about there. As you can see, it's looking pretty fucking good. I put a block of wood there to that way I don't lose my spot. And then I can just creep on back to the... There we go. I got my spot there. I can't really show you the high beams yet unless I triggered the solenoid by my finger because I don't have them spliced in yet. Because they had the old um, plug and play. Uh, I haven't um, converted them back to the um, 9006 high beams. Ooh, got a little torque lock there. And one more try here, just to make sure. Fucking sun, and he needs to get dark sooner. Can't fucking see. But I'm actually very happy with this. I mean, if. Um, if it's still off when I get it all back together, I'm sure I can do a little bit of uh, tweaking here and there, just minor tweaking, and get it right. But hey, my mini H1s weren't perfect either, and I put up with that for two years. But this is this is a hell of a lot better. Ah, JB Weld, never leave home without it. Beam pattern still looks good. As I can see, it's slightly darker, so I can see just a little bit better. And I just tacked those places with JB Weld. I only got three of the spots, but I'm just gonna let it cure a little bit. Not sure how long it takes to cure. Let me see if I can. Oh, sets so 20 to 25 minutes. Cure, full cure is. 15 to 24 hours, tensile strength, so, uh, anyway, 550 degrees, well, I don't think these things get up to 550 degrees, HIDs run hot, but they don't run quite as hot as halogens, so I think I'm okay there, if my um, HIDs ran at 550 degrees, I'm sure these bowls, the projector bowls, which are made of plastic, um, there'd be nothing left of them, so, anyway, I'm just going to let them sit there, and while I do some other stuff in the house, let them set, because I'm not going to fucking touch these until they set, because if I start moving things around, I'm going to lose what I perfected over there, because there's no way I'm going to get this all done tonight, because I still have to drive with those tomorrow night, and uh, not night, but tomorrow in the morning when it's still dark out. So, yeah, moving moving these things is very fatal right now, so I can't really, I'm not going to risk it. It's not like mini H1s where you can just grab onto the back with one of these and then twist and get it right. I mean, it's not quite an easy fix. This is a more advanced retrofit. This is my first advanced retrofit, and... It's a lot of work, it's a lot, it's a pain in the fucking ass, I tell you, but the light output you get in the long run, it's worth it, so, and these, as a video I showed before, it's a lot brighter than my Mini H1s, and I even got that foreground limiter right there to limit how far, you can't really see. You can't see the foreground limber, it's too, still too bright, but that's going to help distance even more, and these Evo XRs already have amazing distance from what I hear, so I I can't wait to get, get this thing finished so I can, yeah, so time to let that cure just a little bit, this is what I got here, 
is probably only just a little bit of what I put into this retrofit because you know the mini H1 retrofit I got like a three part video I posted it um, at the time YouTube was only giving, letting me um, post 10 minutes now it's unlimited probably because I have seniority with it and and uh, it's like I did so much thinking and so much experimenting here and there I decided not to get that on camera but I after my fuck up with these I just decided you know I'll just go ahead and get whatever video documentation I can so this is it this is it so there you go